Welcome. Now, in this module, let's talk about what is CVE and vulnerability database. So, first, what is CVE? CVE is a list of information security vulnerabilities and exposures that aims to provide common names for publicly known cybersecurity issues. The goal of CVE is to make it easier to share data across separate vulnerability capabilities such as tools, repositories, and services with this common vulnerability enumeration or CVE. And the organization which uh, does this task of assigning these labels or CVE labels to the vulnerabilities so that there's a common naming scheme is MITRE, which is uh, M-I-T-R-E. So you can actually go to cve.mitre.org uh, the link is on the screen, and you can look at the uh, CVE uh, database, which is on, on the MITRE website. So here's a snapshot of the U.S. CERT. Now, CERT is a computer emergency response team, and this is the official U.S. CERT vulnerability bulletin uh, website, which is available at www.us-cert.gov. Now, um, if you go here and look at uh, the vulnerability database, um, or the bulletin that is shared here, it is shared by um, the month or the year, and you can click on, let's say, July 2017, uh, July 2017, and it will give you all the vulnerabilities which have been issued during this time. And you can see here on the screen that on the top, we have some Cisco uh, vulnerabilities which are of a high category. It gives the description of the vulnerability, the published date, the CVSS score, uh, which on the top is 9 for the, for the top vulnerability listed on, on this graphic, and then the source and the patch information as well. And there's different vulnerabilities with all this information which is present. And we'll talk about CVSS score in a moment. So what is NVD? So NVD stands for National Vulnerability Database, NVD. And this is also from the U.S. government. The NVD is the CVE dictionary augmented or enhanced with additional analysis, a database, and a fine-grained search engine. The NVD is a superset uh, or a bigger part of CVE. So in the hierarchy, CVE actually lies below, and NVD is the complete database, and uh, NVD is a superset, and CVE is a part of this uh, hierarchy. The NVD is synchronized with CVE such that any updates to CVE appear immediately on the NVD. So these two work together. The CVE is a common enumeration and a numbering scheme, and the uh, vulnerability database uh, details, like I showed you on the screenshot, um, is actually separate. Uh, but the NVD uses the CVE information. And the important thing to understand is that CVE is common across the entire security industry. If you look at a tool, or if you look at uh, a vulnerability, if you look at any type of information related to vulnerability, then that vulnerability, irrespective if that information is coming from a vendor or it's coming from any agency, the particular vulnerability will always refer to the CVE of that vulnerability so that all these tools and these vendors and all these entities in the ecosystem can all know what they're talking about and they can also have an integration together because the tools will need, obviously, to have a code when something needs to be addressed or fixed. So this is a snapshot of the National Vulnerability Database, or the NVD database. Um, the URL is shown here, nvd.nist.gov. And here on the screen, we're able to see one particular vulnerability, which is CVE 20171078, which is related to MySQL um, here. And um, so this is the format of the vulnerability. It gives a description. It gives an impact. And let's go to the next slide. So what is the NVD severity score or, or what is the CVSS? Now, this is also a common numbering scheme which is used in all the vulnerability information. And whenever we have a CV or when, whenever we look at the NVD database or we look at a security bulletin, you'll see a CVSS score. 
So the NVD uses the Common Vulnerability Scoring System, or CVSS, version 2, which is an open standard for assigning vulnerability impacts that is used by a variety of organizations. Now, um, what is the NVT severity score? So, NISTIR 7946 CVSS implementation guidance document describes methodologies developed by the NVD for, for using CVSS. And along with Appendix B, describes the NVD's entire vulnerability assessment process. So this actually describes the CVSS is a scoring system which tells you what would be the impact or what is the criticality of this particular vulnerability. And the higher the CVSS score is, the more critical and the more the impact would be. And if you want to look at how the scoring system is developed, you can look at the NISTIR 7946 CVSS document. So this is a snapshot of CVE 20171078, and that's the numbering format. Um, it has a current description. So it, it says MySQL module through 4.043 for Perl and so on and so forth. And it gives an analysis description of this particular vulnerability. It gives a source. When was it uh, last modified? And if you go ahead, it talks about impact for CVSS severity version 3. It gives a criticality score, it gives a vector, it gives an impact score, an exploitability score, which is how easily it can be exploited. And, you know, there's various metrics here, like an attack vector, it would be the network, attack complexity is low, privileges required are none, and the confidentiality, integrity, and availability related to this vulnerability are all very high. And then you have CVSS severity version 2 ratings, just like we saw uh, for the CVSS severity version 3. So note that all the major vendors also publish their security uh, vulnerabilities online. So other than NVD and other than US CERT and, um, you know, other organizations, the vendors, Microsoft, IBM, Oracle, Cisco, all of them um, publish their vulnerabilities online. And this is one of the reasons why it's so complex because the, you know, you have to look in multiple places, usually. And to get further details, you have to go back to the, to the vendor website, and they usually give you good guidance on how to fix that vulnerability. So we should always be looking at the vendor websites while researching about the vulnerability. Thank you.